What's up you guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another video. Now we're gonna be talking about Ripple, we're gonna be talking about XRP in this video. I've stated the fact that Ripple has won situations in the past, right? With um, the SEC versus Ripple, what is going on with the win for XRP was huge. Um, then you have, you know, another win for XRP winning the appeal of what they won in the past, as well as seeing the CEO and the chairman, you know, rid of those charges is another win. But I think this last win, this latest win that we have here is honestly one in a place where you're not expecting it. And two is going to be big for crypto overall and for XRP holders. So I want to explain what that win is in this video but i also want to go through the position um as well as just give you any type of updates that i do have there so make sure you guys hit that like button and hit the subscribe button also hit the notification bell for more of these videos also if you guys want to check out any of the links down below it does help out the channel and if you want to follow me on twitter follow me on patreon those links are in the description don't forget about my link for margex if you guys want to start trading xrp leverage trading xrp up to 50x leverage on xrp and you could do as little as 5x leverage you can trade as little as a dollar and just get you know kind of your feet wet in the leverage trading um you know sector or market or uh trading experience <clears throat> feel free to go ahead and check out that link that referral link down below for margex it's honestly a really good platform but you all know that I hold a decent amount of XRP. If we look at my portfolio, that's over on CoinMarketCap, right? The portfolio brought to you by CoinMarketCap. Um, you can see that I have $20,000, 20, almost $21,000 in XRP. I have 35,000 XRP um, at an average price of 59 cents, where I'm currently um, down or almost down on that position, right? So, I know that I really believe in XRP, that I believe in XRP, and I love when they have any type of wins, right? But Ripple is the parent company. Right? Ripple is the one that has the the payment options and has the has the uh, the stuff that everybody's really hunting for uh, to use. <clears throat> but XRP is kind of their their baby, right? They would love to use it within everybody that they are partnered with, but it all depends on if they are comfortable with utilizing that, and with you know, Ripple being in, in litigation and, and everything that's happening there, yeah, the payment options are fantastic and you can utilize those things, but, you know, being able to utilize the cryptocurrency is a whole nother level of acceptance and adoption. So you see that I'm a big believer in XRP. And if we look at where XRP is currently, it's at 58, 59 cents, it's down 2% on the day. The overall market is kind of down, um, you know, for Bitcoin, Ethereum, everything that's really in the market. Um, some things are positive, but majority of things are negative. That's why you see the market that's uh, inherently negative. But if we look at the volume and the market cap, we're seeing the market cap at $32 uh, billion. You see uh, the volume that's at $2.5, $2.6 billion, uh, showing a little bit of popularity and that supply as well, $54.8 billion. If you look at the last seven days, it's down 13%. You look at the last month, it's still up 6%. It did reach a level of about 74 or 75 cents before getting on this decrease, this decline. And it's not just because <clears throat> XRP is resetting itself in any way like it has in the past. It's more about the entire market, but it does take away from any gains that XRP did have. Has it, um, you know, doubled like everything else that's out there? No, it hasn't doubled in price. It hasn't uh, even hit like 50% increase on that uh lower price or the prices that we saw at those lower levels but we're seeing at 59 cents or 60 cents and um if we look at the last year it's still up 57 percent. so it has made a move um overall in that last year <clears throat> but other things have made a move more recently you know within this last month some things are up 200 300 percent and all of that so what do I have you guys here for? I know you're probably like, what win did Ripple have? Give me the information. Well, uh, let's go into this article here, which comes to you by uh, TradingView. Ripple Labs wins a rare reward uh, in payments technology. <clears throat> Ethereum whales cash out as Ethereum price drops. XRP triggers a 125% volume surge amid market crash. Crypto News Digest uh, by UDOT Today. So we get into this information. Again, we're not really going to go through the ETH 
um, you know, section of it, but we'll go through the Ripple section of it. Um, <clears throat> Ripple Labs hits a, uh, or hits rare win in payments technology. This is big. In a recent post on its official X handle, Ripple announced that it has become the winner of the 2024 FinTech Breakthrough Award <clears throat> as revealed in, in the post. The company was awarded in two categories, best cross-border payments platform and best DeFi infrastructure platform. This is honestly big, right? Because if we understand that Ripple will be a huge part of that cross-border payment sector, um, then you know that it's going to have a massive impact there and it knows that Ripple is the best. So if Ripple's the best, they support XRP in a large way and claim, you know, XRP is safe it's fast, it's reliable, then we're going to end up using XRP in the end, which gives XRP a huge use case for everybody that they're partnered with. <clears throat> the recognition as best cross-border payments um, platform is of great importance to Ripple, uh, elevating it to the, the top of uh, innovative solutions uh, in the B2B payment sector. Other notable winners in this category were uh, CorpPay for best B2B payment platform, and uh, Paya, hopefully I'm saying that right, uh, Global for best B2B payment product. Despite the, the exceptional nature of this uh, achievement, it did not manage to boost the price of XRP, uh, the Ripple affiliated company or uh, token. Um, at press time, XRP remains relatively low, trading at 59 cents per coin market cap. Now, uh, XRP triggers 125% uh, volume surge and mid market crash. Uh, despite the the uh, terminus conditions, um, the crypto market is um, currently going through. XRP has uh, ignited a 125% increase in trading volume per data provided by Coin Market Cap yesterday. XRP showed 138% growth in 24-hour trading volume, totaling 3.96 billion dollars, which we did go through yesterday. The surge in XRP trading volume emerged during the critical time for a crypto market. Uh, marked by uh, steep drops in the value of major digital assets, drawing the attention of both investors and analysts. There are several factors that could have caused uh, the spike in XRP's volume. However, the uh, exact reason remains unknown. First, it could be investors uh, taking advantage of the lower prices in anticipation of a possible recovery. Second, the increase in activity could be indi uh, indicate a, a, resurgent, a resurgence of interest in XRP, even though the uh, general market is experiencing a crash. So honestly, one, big to be able to see that much volume. We did go through that yesterday. It was at $4 billion worth of volume at one point. Um, but this is a huge win for XRP. Absolutely a huge win for XRP because it now um, shows that XRP could be that option, right? You have Ripple as the parent company. XRP is the next best option for them to, to utilize that, right? It's fast, it's efficient, it's reliable, it's everything, it's cheap. It's all the things that you want in another payment option, in another currency, rather than using cash <clears throat> um, or whatever your digital uh, preference is. CBDCs, it doesn't really matter. But this is the thing is that it opens up the door for XRP when the case is fully resolved. You know, you have that legal clarity. It now opens up those doors for XRP to just walk through them because they're cleared, right? They have, and this is the thing, right? With this case, even though it's a it's a curse for everybody that's a part of it for, for a long standing time, right? Three plus years and probably even more than that. Um, you still look at it as a positive because it will be the only, the only cryptocurrency with legal clarity by far. Nothing else have that, has that, right? Um, you have, you know, just statements that are made saying Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities, but then you look at what, what is legally out there and it's XRP is labeled as not a security. Um, Ripple is, you know, rid of all charges. You have no type of active cases on them. You're not going to have any ones for the future. That's what we're looking for. So this is huge, right? This whole entire situation is huge. And I want to let you guys know that's the reason why I have so much invested in XRP. By far, I've invested a lot more into XRP than everything else that I have in my portfolio. Just because I have things that are worth maybe a little bit more or just as much, I received gains for those things. XRP is where I invested in it at, right?
that 59 cents is where I invested in. <clears throat> Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel, but I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.